Hello and welcome to Madrid Urban Sports Virtual Edition, the very first edition in a brand new online format. I'm your host, Mathilde Delorme, and welcome to this very first format of Madrid Urban Sports. We're going to be joined by the legendary Kelly Hart, all the way from Venice Beach, California. Kelly, hello. Hello, thank you for having me. This is incredible. I mean, you probably haven't seen this before. We have 32 international riders, really the best of the best. They're going to battle it out head to head. Today, we're going to do quarterfinals of the women's skateboarding. What do you think of this new online format? I mean, this is, I love the way that we're adapting to everything going on. I think um, it, it really, it, it gives a skateboarder something to do, obviously, but also do it in a different way than the natural skate contest and just to be more creative about it. I think this is great. How hard is it for the skaters to train during quarantine as they were locked up? How did that all go for them? I mean, it depends on who the skaters are and where they have access to to skate. Some people have their private park, some people have their local park, and sometimes our local park's closed. It just depends, but I think skateboarders are very good at adapting to things and even skating the streets. It's, they, they can make it happen. I mean, this is incredible because it really gives the skaters an ability to skate and to compete, and it's online, and we're going to travel throughout the whole world. We've got skaters from all over the place. We're going to see different scenery from everywhere. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Thank you to our sponsors, first of all, and Comunidad de Madrid for making this possible. Uh, I can't wait. Let's get into it. Let's see this quarterfinals bracket for the women. Here we go. I mean, this is incredible. Raisa Leal versus Keith Olbenbugen from the Netherlands. What do you think of that lineup? I mean, Raisa is already, she, she's so young and she's on fire skating the contest and seeing her like on social media doing the craziest tricks. She's amazing. Keith, I've been following her for a while now. Her style's so good and that's such a cool matchup. I'm really curious to see what they come out with uh, right here. It's, it's cool. It's eight finalists in the quarterfinals. Only four can advance to the semifinals. In the second, we have Nanaka Fujisawa all the way from Japan and Candy Jacobs, who, if I'm not mistaken, she's a mentor of Keats, is she not? I, I believe so, and I could totally see where the inspiration comes from when I see Keats skate now. Uh, Candy <laughs> is just already kind of like a legend already she's already so good at skating she's yeah. been around for a minute she's holding it down contest wise street wise she's a great person nanaka is an up and coming skater from japan and the all these young skaters are progressing so fast right now it's it's wild a dutch skater and a japanese skater head to head we're going to see both in just a second the third contest we have maria lindidal all the way from the philippines an amazing rider and marina gabriela from brazil what a lineup. Yeah, great lineup. Margie, she, she's got some tricks that no one else does. Uh, very technical. She's got really good style, nice tray flips. And then Marina is also being brought up by Tiago Lemos, who's one of the most incre yeah. incredible skateboarders ever. And she's from Brazil. She's been progressing so fast. So this is a crazy lineup too. And then this is going to be one final spot, and it's going to be between local gal Andrea Benitez. She's a Spanish writer currently residing in Madrid, and Gabri Maceto, who is a, a former gymnast. So that must have some influence oh, wow. on the way she skates now. She took up skateboarding when she was 13, and prior to that, she was in gymnastics. Yeah, she got good real quick. And yeah, Andrea's been around for a minute. She's. She's been holding it down for Spain, and it's cool to see everyone like rising to the top and killing it. This is great. It's gonna be incredible. Let's have a look at the format. Mm. All right, we're gonna go to eight riders that are battling head to head. Each rider must do a best trick in a selected spot from wherever they are in the world, at home, on their local grounds. So we're in quarterfinals. We're gonna be competing line. Semifinals, we're gonna have a ledge, big final, and the loser final, rail. We have five judges that I'm very excited about that are going to be with us today to make those decisions and to pick those four skaters that are going to advance to the semifinalists. What do you think of this new online format? It's crazy, right? It's wild, but you know, skateboarders, we all uh, figure out how to adapt to what's going on. And this gives, this gives the skater more of opportunity to go find something they want to do and just kind of put it together with their filmer and then 
you know, it's just like a, it's a new game you got to play. And this is a, it's, it's crazy to see skateboarding come to this, but this is really cool. I mean, it allows for so much creativity. They can do really whatever they want with these videos. So I'm, I'm super yeah. excited about this competition. Here we have the bracket. Like we said, the eight skaters, there you can see the lineup. They're going to go head to head. We've got eight. They've got, there are only four spots for the semifinals. I mean, let's do it, right? Let's get into yeah, the Yeah, let's contest. go. Let's do let's it. Do let's it. go. Let's see. We've got Leal and Olden. Be oh, sorry, I can't even say the name. For how do you say it? <laughs> uh, you're asking me. I don't know. I just, I just call her Keat. Keat. Keat, you're up, <laughs> man. Like, <laughs> let's do it. Let's see it. Knowing <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, two incredible young riders. I mean, Lysa, she won the SLS last year in LA, right? And Keat, an incredible skater from the Netherlands. Such a long line from Raisa there. What do you think, Kelly? I mean, this is interesting because I feel like Raisa is such like a good, like she can skate rails and, and gaps really good, but then you're putting her next to Keat and Keat can just flow super good. Like this is an interesting matchup. I think they both did a great job and they both flowed super good. But yeah, this last backside 360 from Keat was beautiful. That was, that's Good always, job. Oh, yeah. flawless there. Uh, let's see what the judges have to think of this one. All right, first of all, we have five incredible judges with us today. Kelly, what can you tell us about these five guys we've got with us today? Well, these guys all have made their mark in skateboarding and they're all amazing people. Anthony Claraval, amazing filmer. He, he's been around for so long, watched Four and Ones, which was the videos that I grew up loving. Uh, he became a friend of mine. We made videos together. He's, we've traveled. Danny Wainwright, amazing skateboarder, one of the biggest ollies ever in the game. Uh, great human being, and he has been judging a lot of these skate contests, and he, he's great at that. Jesus Fernandez, amazing tech skateboarder, beautiful style from Spain. Uh, great, great dude. And he understands how to judge super well. Vanessa Torres, she's incredible. She comes from Legend. California as well. Legend. And she's a great human being. She's super funny, but she's very in tune with what's going on in skateboarding. And, and, and she's just, she just got, she's just like a great person. I'm super stoked to see her in this. And then Alex Barraza, he's been holding it down from Spain. He, I don't know, actually, is he from Spain or is he from? I, I think so. I think so. Alex Braz is from okay. this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, he, he, he's he been holding it down for mock for Mokba life and just making sure that the Mokba culture is going a lot, a, like going strong right now. So it's really, really cool to see what he's done with skateboarding. But all of these five together are going to do a great job. I mean, these are legends of the sport and a really interesting time for judges of skateboarding as skateboarding is going to turn Olympic next year at Tokyo 2020, yeah. right? I mean, it's going to make its debut. This, Yeah, it's going to make its debut, but this is an interesting scenario of like, they're not giving scores here. They're they're just choosing somebody. It's, you know, so that usually this, a contest it like this doesn't happen. really ever happen. Yeah, no, this is really, this is crazy. This is cool. Everything is new going to be new at Tokyo. This is new. It's an online format. It's the first edition. I'm super, we're super pumped to be here. Let's see what these judges have given Leal and Keat. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's see who they've chosen to advance to the semifinals. Oh, wow. Only Vanessa oh. chose Keat. What do you think I mean, of that? I mean, they're, they're all really, they're both really good runs. They're kind of a little different because 
Uh, Keat had the back set through 60, but then uh, uh, Raisa kind of started off with the big gap at first and kind of flowed, did a half gap heel flip, which is tech trick, and did a crook grind at the end. It's, a, it's tough to compare, but, but yeah, I agree with I agree with the judges on this one. Yeah, four out of five. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kelly yeah. Hart also agrees. I agree. Looks like it's going to be Raisa. She's advancing to the semifinal. All right, next up we have Fujiusawa and Candy Jacobs. It's Japan and Netherlands head to head. Let's check it out. I was big time, big time, number nine. Wow, Nanaka from Japan, a huge bunch of tricks in her in her armor and Candy Jacobs is just incredible. She's dominating everything at the moment. Kelly, what do you think of these two? I mean, the, the first line from Nanaka is incredible with the 360 shove, like to start it off. That's a very rare trick that you always land, land primo or upside down. It's like a really dangerous trick. And then the front crook, Big came up at the end. A little sketchy at the end. We'll see how the judges compare uh, that to uh, Candy. I think Candy's flowed a little better. Um, I might have say that Nanaka's like, difficulty of tricks were a little bit tougher. So I I'm interested to see how the judges uh, judge in this one. All right, but swaying towards Nanaka. Yeah, a bit of a wobble there. Yeah, a little bit sketchy, but you know, that was the eight. And that, these are awesome spots to skate too. I mean, I mean, Amsterdam, right? Is she from Amsterdam? I believe so. Miss, yeah, I've Naka actually skated. Japan. I've actually skated this spot in Japan. It's yeah. really, really good. So it's like super sick. I mean, I, the c crazy thing is when you look at this footage is that there's no one around because of the scenario going on in the world, <laughs> which is why it gives it gives skateboarders open field to go do what they got to do. They go nuts and. This produced us some incredible quarterfinal videos. Let's see what the yeah. judges have to say of this. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I, I, I could see that. I think, you know, the front crook was super good. 360 shove it super, like super tough to, to start off with, especially. And to end it with the big kick flip, like that's going to be a tough one to beat in general, I think. So this I'm is this is. Pretty cool. I mean, Anaka looks like she could be a contender to win this whole thing. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. We've got Didal and Gabriela next. Margie, Filipino, great skater, and Marina from Brazil. Let's see what they've got for us. Tripping on that. I mean, that they both did beautiful trade in the middle of the run. Uh, Margie did her line flawless. She did a little more tricks, a uh, little more like, yeah, doing more flip tricks in a run is super tough. But dude, no side nollie flip at the end of a line. That's that's pretty wild. It's pretty <laughs> rad spot. Awesome spot too. But this is this is really hard matchup. This is, both did a great job. I mean, Margie's arguably one of the best skaters on the scene right now, right? Would you say? Yeah. Margie definitely is like, 
she's pushing the limits of like just the way she, her skating is so good and she's progressing so fast that it's really fun to watch. And then Marina, Marina like such she, a great young Brazilian talent. She's progressing very fast, but also like the the tech factor at the end, no side nollie flip in her the yeah. style she has on her tray flips are super good. She's got a good they both have really good pushes, which is uh which is very key in, in style, you know, you need to have a good push. And they the and actually Margie's first trick is kind of an awesome one that I haven't the front side uh salad grind. And that's kind of like you don't see that too often on ledges. I mean, we can watch this on repeat for days, but let's see what yeah. the judges have to think. Our five judges, who are they going to send through to the semifinals? Ooh. Ooh, wow. I mean, Surprise? I'm not, I, I uh, you know, th those are two hard ones to can put next to each other because they're both so good. Right. But <laughs> probably like, why they you put know them next to each other. Yeah, they, the Margie though. I mean, I can understand it. Uh, she flowed really, really good. She did more tricks, and uh, yeah, stands out. All right, so it's gonna be Margie. She's going through to our semifinals all the way from the Philippines. Incredible rider. We could very well see her at Tokyo 2020 next year. And the judges obviously loved her video today. We have one final spot for the semifinal. It's between Andrea local talent from Spain and Maceto, Gabri uh, Gabi, sorry, from Brazil, another great writer. Let's see what they've got. I was big time, number nine. Diamonds in my teeth, I got a lot of shine. Running at the numbers, that's a lot of crime. Try and take it from me, must be out your mind. Yeah. Oh, I'm big time, a lot of shine. a long line from Gabby. Yeah, and Gabby Andrea. really. Yeah. So yeah, Andreas getting real tech real quick, the back to back hits. And then you got uh, Gabby who did a longer, I like to call them like LeVar McBride lines or just like marathon lines. So they just like <laughs> keep going. You just keep going. And uh, she did a lot of flip tricks in her line and she did them good too. The switch back heel in the middle, that's a tech trick that you don't see too often in the middle of runs. I mean, she could go forever. That's a long line. And it's casually skating past people having probably lunch there. And Andrea's, <laughs> whole, po Andrea's whole posse just reacted wildly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, this is this is interesting. I, uh, this kind of goes back to more of uh, what happened with Margie. She had a longer line, looked fluid. And, uh, I'm I could guess they're going to choose Gabby on this one, but I, I mean, I'm really curious, to be honest. All right. Kelly thinks it's going to be Gabby. Buddhas at home, what do you guys think? Let us know on Instagram, hashtag Madrid Urban Sports. Let's see what the judges think of this one. Here we go. Ooh. Close. Wow, that was very close. Gabby by one. Wow. So, yeah, that's like, yeah, three to two. That's crazy. But yeah, that, I mean, I, I'm surprised to see it that close, to be honest, but I, I, they both did a great job. But I think uh, Gabby, she, she deserved that one. She had, did some, the back salute she did was great. Switch back heel in the middle. Start, and did a kick with the fake on the little bump. That's really tough to do as well. It's like, that's a, a close call. That was a close call. I mean, two really great riders, but it's Gabi Maceto, the young 17-year-old Brazilian rider, who will join us for the semifinals. I mean, this. I mean, look at the bracket. Look at the bracket. We have Leal and Fujisawa. Wow. That's going to be a harsh contest. Really tough. Yeah. I mean, what, what did you say? The next the next round was what is is semis semis. But like, what trick is it? Uh, line or? Ledge, it's gonna be ledge. Ledge, I'm sorry, yeah, okay. The, the ledge, I mean, 
Nanaka obviously is good at Legends. She does the front crook super good. Uh, Raisa is obviously incredible at Legends too. We'll see how she puts that together. I mean, four finalists, they're gonna be up against each other for Ledge. It's gonna be amazing. We have one final thing that the judges have gifted to us today. MVP of the tournament has been announced. Kelly, if you had to pick an MVP, who would it be? I would have to go with the judges on this one. I would say Nanaka <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's a good call. Yeah. I mean, I think, her I line think was that run, one. yeah, I think that run really stood out more than everyone else's in the whole thing. And I think they, they did a good job of choosing MVP. I think um, the way she flowed on that line, the, the, tip, tr the trick difficulty was super crazy. Let's see it. I mean, Nanaka, a young Japanese writer, Olympics are going to be in her home, uh, her home country of Japan, and next year that should be great for her. Uh, let's see, let's see her, let's see her line. Wow. I mean, just incredible, right, Kelly? Yeah, I mean, I the front or the 360 shove it. I trip out on that trick. I, every time I've ever tried that, it just falls over. And uh, to end it with the kickflip, that ground is super rough too. So. Yeah, that was that was incredible. Good good for her, man. That was great. Congratulations, Nanaka, MVP of the very first edition of Madrid Urban Sports in a brand new online format. We will see her tomorrow in the semis. You can vote or well predict on who you think will win the semifinals on Urban World Series Instagram right here. Let us know. Use the hashtag Madrid Urban Sports. Thank you for joining us today for the quarterfinals of this women's skateboarding in a brand new format. What did you think? I thought it was great. Thanks for having me. I think this is going to be a great thing going forward and uh, it's going to give these skaters something to look forward to and it's going to be wild to watch this thing and see who the winner is. Thank you so much, Kelly. Everyone at home, do not forget to make your predictions. I'm your host, Matilda Lom, and thank you very much for joining us. Goodbye. See ya. Oh, sha la la la, she's a I love it when you kiss me.